Fame is a vapor. The only earthly certainty is oblivion. Welcome to the mysterious stranger. What's your name? Satan. Uh-oh. What's the matter? Nothing. Only it's sure a sorry name for an angel.
go home. I reckon I'm getting out of here. No, Huck. Not that way, Huck. Mr. Twain, close the door. up, I have been like the rest of the race, never quite sane at night. Thank you. 
itself is only a vision, a dream. Nothing exists save empty space and you. And you are but a Presence, the practicing of presence is a good preparation. Should life present you with an enormous challenge, an immediate an emergency that needs to be dealt with immediately, so that the emergency does not overwhelm you, you, you can face it. Um, that's one thing. But there's another form of overwhelm that's to do with the, the thinking mind. some problems in your life and uh, or maybe a succession of problems that you might become overwhelmed. You have several problems, not emergent, absolute emergencies, but difficulties in your life. Somebody close to you dies and you lose your job the next day and then you get home the following day and your wife has left you or your husband left you or whatever many things suddenly come, I can't take it anymore, so all the, well, okay, so here we're talking to a somewhat different situation from the actual immediate emergency. Uh, this overwhelm is produced by the thinking mind, trying to find some kind of coping with Impossible, seemingly impossible situations that you cannot actually do anything about right now. At some point, you can take action to, to solve situations, but right now, because it's not an emergency, so right now you just have all these problems arising in your life. Think about my problems. I can't. I can't do presence now. It's impossible. This this thought is a lie. If you have been practicing presence, and then you have this thought that says, "I can't do it. No, there's no point in putting out that boy." Don't believe in every thought that comes into your mind. On a practical level, uh, physical movement helps. If you feel overwhelmed, uh, go out into nature and breathe consciously there and take in your surroundings. Nature is a very healing thing. I got something to show you. Look at that. 
Tom Phil, is that you? Why, ahoy there, Mark Twain. Where might you be going? I might. Uh, I most assuredly am going to heaven. Ah, an optimist. <laughs> I'm led to consider a different path. Heaven for climate. Hell for company. Either way, you gotta die to get there. <laughs>